All mass intentions for today are now currently being posted via live streaming at our official Santa Teresita Parish Facebook page. Let us all stand for the Novena to the Little Flower. Savior God's holy face. Teresa, little flower, teacher of the little way. Teresa, oh Teresa, teach us live the humble way of love. Teacher of the little way, tender blossom of bliss you. Jesus Christ, you follow through the narrow path of love. Teach us how to love of Him in our joys and in our sufferings to receive God's mercy with our empty hands. Teresa, little flower, Teacher of the little way, Teresa, oh Teresa, teach us live the humble way of love. Teach us how to love Him with the meekness of a little child, for each present moment is a gift of love from the Father. Father above, Teresa of the Christ child, teacher of the little way, Teresa, oh Teresa, teach us walk the little way of love. Let us all kneel. Prayer for the seventh day. Altogether, Therese of the Child Jesus, most loving saint, in union with you I adore the divine majesty. My heart is filled with joy at the remembrance of the marvelous favors with which God blessed your life on earth and of the great glory that came to you after death. In union with you, I praise God and offer him my humble tribute of thanksgiving. I implore you to obtain for me through your powerful intercession, the greatest of all blessings, that of living and dying in the state of grace. I also beg you to secure for me the special favor I seek in this novena. Amen. Novena Prayer. O Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, who during your short life on earth became a mirror of angelic purity, of love strong as death, and of wholehearted abandonment to God, now that you rejoice in the reward of your virtues, cast a glance of pity on me as I leave all things in your hands. Make my troubles your own. Speak a word for me to Our Lady Immaculate, whose flower of special love you were to that Queen of Heaven who smiled on you at the dawn of life. Beg her as Queen of the Heart of Jesus to obtain for me by her powerful intercession the grace I yearn for so ardently at this moment, and that she join with it a blessing that may strengthen me during life, defend me at the hour of death, and lead me straight on to a happy eternity. Amen. O God, who did inflame with the spirit of love the soul of your servant, Therese of the child Jesus, 
Grant that we also may love you and make you much loved. Amen. Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, please be seated for a moment.
Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for a moment. Good evening. Peace and all good, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We are now on the seventh day novena, Mass in honor of St. Therese of the Child Jesus. And today we celebrate the memorial of St. Lorenzo Ruiz, the first Filipino saint and his companions. Our Mass presider in this Eucharistic celebration is Reverend Father Ronald Allen Samson, OFM Capuchin. Let us all stand, please. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, a blessed evening to, to each one of us. 
Today we Even celebrate Father. the memorial of Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, the first Filipino saint to be canonized, a martyr, and a model to each one of us in responding to God's will in our lives. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, Lord God, the same perseverance shown by your martyrs, St. Lawrence Ruiz and his companions, in serving you and their neighbor, since those persecuted for the sake of righteousness are blessed in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered his friends and said, I know well that it is so, but how can a man be justified before God? Should one wish to contend with him, he could not answer him once in a thousand times. God is wise in heart and mighty in strength, who has withstood him and remained unscathed. He removes the mountains before they know it. He overturns them in his anger. He shakes the earth out of its place and the pillars beneath it tremble. He commands the sun and it rises not. He seals up the stars. He alone stretches out the heavens and treads upon the crest of the sea. He made the bear and Orion, the Pleiades and the constellation of the south. He does great things past finding out, marvelous things beyond reckoning. Should he come near me, I see him not. Should he pass by, I am not aware of him. Should he seize me forcibly, who can say him nay? Who can say to him, what are you doing? How much less shall I give him any answer or choose out arguments against him? Even though I were right, I could not answer him, but should rather beg for what was due me. If I appealed to him and he answered my call, I could not believe that he would hearken to my words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
for the dead Will the shades rise to give you thanks Let my prayer come before you, Lord Do they declare you mercy in the Your unfaithfulness among those who have perished Are your wonders made known in the darkness Or your justice in the land of oblivion Let my prayer But I, O oh Lord, cry out to you With my morning prayer I wait upon you Why, O oh Lord, do you reject me? Why hide from me your face? Let my prayer Let us honor the Holy Gospel. I consider all things so much rubbish that I may gain Christ and be found in Him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus and his disciples were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens, and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, Let the dead bury their dead, but you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me say farewell to my family at home. Jesus answered him, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Kapayapaan at lahat ng kabutihan, mga kapatid. Kapayapaan din po at lahat ng kabutihan, Father. Salamat po. Isang mapagpalang gabi po sa ating lahat. At uh, nagpapasalamat po ako na ako'y naimbetahan ninyo sa inyong 
pagnonobena para sa paghahanda ng dakilang kapistahan ng inyong patron na si Santa Resita del Niño Jesus. So nagpapasalamat ako sa ating kura paroko kay Father Ron Ojeda na aking formator, no? postulant director, novice master, all around. Gayun din kay Brother Mario at sa community ng mga kapitid natin kapuchino uh, dito sa Santa Teresita del Niño Jesus. Nung tinignan ko po yung, yung tema, ano, nung para sa ikapitong gabi natin ng nobenaryo, ang nakalagay po dito, Santa Teresita del Niño Jesus, inspirasyon ng Kristiyanong pamilya sa misyon ng sinodal na simbahan. Sabi ko, parang thesis defense. Parang uh, napakalalim ano, kung titignan natin. Lalong-lalo na sa buhay ng ating patron at pintakasi na si Santa Teresita del Niño Jesus. At isang napakagandang pagkakataon dahil habang tayo ay nasa paghahanda ng kapistahan ni Santa Teresita, Tayo naman ngayon, pinagdiriwang natin yung kapistahan no, sa ating inang simbahan sa, sa liturgy ay memorial ni San Lorenzo Ruiz. So, so bakit ko na pa, ma, hindi pwedeng hindi ko mabanggit sa San Lorenzo Ruiz dahil siya yung kauna-unahan po na Pilipino na naging santo. Isang sakristan, isang katekista. Isang ordinaryong Pilipino, pinanganak sa Binondo noong early 17th century, 60, between 1600 to 1610. So ang tatay po niya ay isang Chinese at ang nanay niya ay isang Pilipina. Natuto siya ng Chinese sa kanyang tatay at Tagalog naman sa kanyang nanay. At natuto siya ng Espanyol sa mga Dominikanong pare. Dahil miyembro rin po siya ng Confraternity of the Most Holy Rosary. So dito natin makikita na si San Lorenzo Ruiz ay isang katoliko na hindi malayo sa buhay natin. Naglilingkod sa simbahan, aktibo sa simbahan. But he was unjustly accused of murder. That's why he seeks asylum together with the Dominican priests. Nung nalaman lang niya, napapunta silang Japan, nung ando na po siya sa, sila sa dagat, kasama yung mga pare. Ang akala niya una pupuntahan ay yung sa Formosa o yung ngayon po ay Taiwan. Ngunit sabi nga, pag nalaman ng mga Spanyol na doon siya pupunta, ay malamang siya hulihin. Kaya pumunta po sila at uh, sila ay dumating sa Okinawa. Ngunit sa Japan noon, meron din uh, persecution para sa mga Kristiyano at sila ay nahuli no they were exposed and dinala sila sa Nagasaki at doon sila uh, tinorture ng iba't ibang paraan for three days kaya nga yung pangtansya sa kanyang kamatayan ay between September 29 to 30 1637 Si San Lorenzo Ruiz na ating unang banal, ano? hindi po siya pare, hindi siya madre, isang katulad nating uh, ordinaryong kristyano na makikita natin ang hamon sa ating lahat, no? hindi doon sa estado ng buhay na, na tatamasa o nagiging ganap yung pagiging buhay kristyano. kundi doon sa pagsasabuhay ng ating pananampalataya bilang mga Kristiyano at sa pagtugon natin sa kalooban ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Si Santa Teresita del Niño Jesus, inspirasyon ng Kristiyanong pamilya sa misyon ng sinodal na simbahan. Kaya nga kung titignan natin si Santa Teresita del Niño Jesus, ano, bakit siya is inspirasyon ng Kristiyanong pamilya? Eh, wala naman po siyang mga anak. Pero kung titignan natin, siya ay ating inspirasyon sa pamamagitan mismo ng kanyang naging pamilya. Sa pamilya na binuo 
ng mga banal na sila Saints Louis and Sally Martina ang kanyang mga magulang. Kaya nga, dito natin makikita no, kung paano nahubog si Santa Teresa Santa Teresita del Niño Jesus. Kung paano mag-iisang mabuting anak, mabuting kristyano, at isang mabuting mana ng palataya, lalong-lalo na sa pagsunod sa ating Panginoon sa Kristo. Si Santa Teresita del Niño Jesus, modelo at inspirasyon ng kristyanong pamilya sa misyon ng sinodal na simbahan. Pag sinabi po natin sinodal, siguro marahil naririnig nyo na. Ito yung paglalakbay ng ating inang simbahan no? bilang isang pilgrim church na naglalakbay sa isang daan patungo sa isang direksyon. No? Yung kagapanapan ng buhay at kabanalan sa pabamagitan ng daan ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Kaya pinakita at makikita natin ito lalong-lalo na sa buhay ni sa Santa Teresita del Niño Jesus. Kung paano siya sumunod sa kalooban ng Diyos, tumugon dun sa panawagan ng Diyos sa kanyang buhay at higit sa lahat, kung paano sila bilang isang pamilya ay naklag, naglakbay at patuloy na o sabihin nating naglakbay patungo dun sa isang direksyon yung kaganapan ng buhay bilang mga Kristiyano. Narinig natin sa ating Ebanghelyo ang ating Panginoon Kristo no? nung sila ay nagpapatuloy sa kanilang paglalakbay, marami yung sumusunod sa ating Panginoon sa Kristo. Marami yung sumusunod, marami yung nakikinig sa kanyang pangangaral ng mabuting balita. Marami yung sumusunod dahil doon sa ginagawa niyang mga himala. Marami yung sumusunod dahil doon sa kanyang mga napapagaling na mga sakit. At kahit doon sa mga uh, pinapalayas nga na masapang espiritu sa mga in- inaanihan nito ay namamangha at uh, natutuwa sa kanya kaya patuloy siyang sinusundan kahit siya siya pumunta. Ngunit ang ating Panginoon sa Kristo, binigyan diin sa Ibanghelyong ito na ang pagsunod sa kanya ay hindi lang yung pagsunod sa kaalawalhan ng buhay. O sabihin natin ang pagsunod sa kanya hindi lang dahil doon sa pakinabang na dulot niya, no? kundi ang pagsunod sa Kanya ay pagsunod mismo at pagtulad sa ating Panginoon sa Kristo sa pagsunod niya sa kalooban ng Ama. Discipleship entails sacrifice. Discipleship demands that we put as the highest priority in our lives. And discipleship, no? calls for our urgent response to God's call in our life. A whole-hearted response, a conviction, like what St. Teresa of the Child Jesus did in following our Lord Jesus Christ together with San Lorenzo Ruiz. A conviction in living the faith and witnessing to the faith by love and especially by laying of one's life for the love of God and salvation of souls. At ito yung makikita natin sa buhay ni San Santa Teresita del Niño Jesus bilang isang inspirasyon para sa pamilya. Na upang magkaroon ng kaganapan ang ating buhay bilang kristya, isang, isang pamilyang kristyano, napakahalaga yung elemento ng pagsasakripisyo. Si Santa Teresita del Niño Jesus, ano? Ilan sila doon sa kanilang pamilya, siyam sila. Yung apat na anak ni Seliet, ni Saint, Saint Seliet, Louis ay namatay ng maaga. Ngunit yung natira na lima ay pumasok sa kumbento. Isa sa mga naging sakripisyo at sakit sa buhay ni Santa Teresita del Niño Jesus ay nung mamatay yung kanyang ina nang siya ay apat na taon. Isa pa ah, naging... Uh, masakit na karanasan niya ay yung pagpasok niya sa o, uh, pagpasok ng kanyang kapatid no, na nag-aalaga sa kanya sa monasteryo. Kaya nga si Santa Teresita del Niño Jesus hindi nakita yung mga sakit na to 
na parusa o pasakit ng Diyos, kundi nakita mga ito na mga bagay na kung saan dinadala siya sa Diyos, ng Diyos para sa mas malalim na kahulugan ng kanyang buhay bilang Kristiyano. Na kahit nung pumanaw ang kanyang ama nung siya'y 21 years old na nandun na siya sa Carmel na napakasakit sa kanya, ay dinala niya ito bilang pagmamahal sa Diyos da alam niya, no? because of his, her trust to God's fidelity and divine providence, that God has great plans, that it is good, I mean, it, it, it has a good purpose for the good of her soul. Ang pagsasakripisyo, napakahalaga sa Christian, Christianong pamilya yung elemento ng sakripisyo. Alam naman natin yung sitwasyon ng pamilyang Kristiyano. Marahil makikita natin sa ating sariling pamilya. Sabi ko nga, yung sinodalidad, isang paglalakbay patungo sa isang daan at isang direksyon. At itong direksyon na to, minsan, o at ang paglalakbay na to, ay hindi natutupad at hindi nagiging ganap sa ating pamilya. Dahil minsan, nagsisimba, nanay lang, hindi kasabay, hindi kasabay ang mga anak, o naiiwan ng ama, o minsan, mas gustong sumama ng mga bata sa mga kaibigan sa pagsimba kesa sa kanilang mga magulang. But the inspiration of St. Teresa of the Child Jesus to our Christian family calls to each one of us to look into our families. No? Na unti-unti nating anyayahan, unti-unting maging buo, at maging isa ang pamilya sa paglalakbay patungo sa kabaanalan at kaganapan ng buhay bilang kristyanong pamilya. Sa pagsisimba sa araw ng linggo, sa pagsasakripisyo, no? dahil kasi kailangan mo magsikirpisyo na tatanggalin mo yung iyong sariling kagustuhan upang maging ganap yung hamon para maging buo yung pamilyang kristyano. Na hindi mo sasabihin, mas gusto kong kasama yung mga kaibigan ko o yung mga kasama ko sa ibang organisasyong simbahan. No? Like St. Teresa of the Child Jesus, he, she showed her sacrifice by breaking her will for the love of God and for the love of His brothers and especially sisters in the community. Kaya nga, sa halimbawa ng Kristiyanong pamilya, tinatawag tayo na tayo rin ay may bahagi doon sa pagsasakripisyong ito. May kailangan tayong bitawan upang tayo ay makinig, makaniig, at lumago, lalong-lalo na doon sa relasyon sa bawat miyembro ng pamilya, upang maging ganap yung kristyanong pamilya sa pakikisa sa misyon ni Kristo, lalo na sa paglalakbay patungo dito sa iisang direksyon ng kaganapan ng buhay. Pangalawa, ay yung inspirasyon ni Santa Teresita del Niño Jesus sa kristyanong pamilya yung patuloy na pagtugon sa kalooban ng Diyos. An urgent and a committed response. A wholehearted response. Na kung gusto nating lumago doon sa tunay na pagpapanibago ng pamilya, kailangan nating merong i-give up at doon sa kailangan merong i-give up at isakripisyo, kailangan nating tumugon sa Diyos. Na i-give up yung ating will, upang makatugon sa kanyang kalooban. Yung pag-give up natin, pagbitiw dun sa sarili nating kalooban, ay hindi sa pilitan, kundi buong puso na tumutugon tayo bilang tanda ng ating pagmamahal sa Diyos at pagmamahal sa ating kapwa-tao, lalo na sa bawat miyembro ng pamilya. Yung maglaan tayo ng oras para sa panalangin sa pamilya. Maglaan, para makap- makapiling ang bawat miyembro ng pamilya, lalong-lalo na yung makinig sa anak, magmahal at mag-alaga sa mga magulang, at magpatawad, lalo na kung may kailangang patawarin o humingi ng tawad kung may nagawang pagkakamali sa bawat miyembro ng pamilya. Yung pamilya ni St. Teresa of the Child Jesus, hindi naging perfecto, kundi dahil dun sa pagsasakripisyo at pagtugon sa kalooban ng Diyos. At ito yung binibigyang na halimbawa sa atin 
ng buhay ni Santa Teresita del Niño Jesus at ng kanyang pamilya. Yung magsakripisyo at tumugon do sa panawagan ng Diyos para isa buhay, lalong-lalo na, at maging saksi sa mabuting balita ng ating Panginoon Kristo sa bawat pamilya. Na bago natin sabihin ipapahayag natin ang mabuting balita sa ating kapwa, lalong-lalo na sa mga nangangailangan, maging saksi tayo ng mabuting balita ng Diyos sa ating pamilya. Sabi ko nga sa pamamagitan ng pagmamahal, pagkalinga, at pag-aaruga sa bawat membro, at pagpapatawad, at kapatawaran, lalong-lalo na sa bawat miyembro ng pamilya. At higit sa lahat, naging ganap yung buhay ng pamilya ni Santa Teresita del Niño Jesus dahil inilagay nila ang Diyos bilang highest priority ng kanilang buhay. Ng kanyang mga magulang na si Selly at si Louie, gayon din ang kanyang mga kapatid at lalo na ni Santa Teresita del Niño Jesus. At upang maging ganap itong kristyanong pamilya sa pakikiisa sa misyon ng sinulidad na simbahan, mahalaga po that we take God as the highest priority and center of our family. For us, in order to journey that one path and one direction towards the fullness of our Christian life and holiness of life. At ang naging daan ng pamilya at ni Santa Teresita dito para maging ganap ang kanyang buhay at ang kanyang pamilya ay ang pagmamahal lalong-lalo niya sa Banal na Eucharistia. Nawa ang ating pagtanggap sa Banal na Eucharistia, ang pagmamahal natin sa ating Panginoon sa Kristo sa Banal na Eucharistia, ito lalo yung humubog sa ating pamilya para magkaroon ng patuloy na pagpapanibago, pagbabalik loob, sa bawat miyembro ng pamilya at mahubog tayo ng Diyos na maging katulad natin at lalo pa nating hangarin, tularan at isa buhay ang turo, ang halimbawa at buhay ng ating Panginoon Kristo. The Eucharist has transforming power and as we love Jesus in the Eucharist, may we be transformed on His life-giving bread and wine. That we too, in order for our family to have to attain its fullness of Christian life, we may be able to give our lives to each and every member of our family. Katulad ni si Santa Teresita del Niño Jesus, na yun yung kanyang pakikisa sa sakripisyo at pagpapakasakit ng ating Panginoon Kristo ay yung binigay niya yung kanyang buhay dahil sa kanyang pagmamahal sa Diyos at pagmamahal sa kanyang kapwa-tao na ito yung nagdala para sa kaligtasan ng mga kaluluwa, tayo rin ay matuto na ibigay ang ating buhay sa ating kapwa-tao, lalong-lalo na sa bawat miyembro ng pamilya, dahil unang-una sa pagmamahal natin sa Diyos at pagmamahal natin sa ating kapwa-tao. Nawa ang magindaan natin para sa kaganapan ng buhay ang Banal na Eucharistia. Nawa ang Banal na Eucharistia ang maging tunay na tanda ng ating Panginoong Isokristo para maging ganap yung ating pamilyang Kristiyano. At higit sa lahat, ang Banal na Eucharistia na kung saan binibigay ng ating Panginoong Isokristo ang kanyang buong pagkadyos at pag- kanyang buong uh, pagkatao ay maging halimbawa sa atin kung paano rin tayo magmamahal at magbibigay ng buhay para sa kaligtasan ng ating kapwa at kaligtasan ng kaluluwa para sa kapurihan ng ating Panginoon. Amen. Let us all stand, please. We present our needs before God our Father, whose Son, Jesus Christ, has called us to follow Him. With confidence, we pray for the grace to accept the calling. Father, perfect us in Christ. Father. Father. 
that the leaders of the church and all those engaged in preaching the Word of God may persevere in their commitment to follow Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect, Father, perfect us, in us in Christ, that our community may be renewed from day to day through faith in the Word of God, calling us to a better life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father perfect, perfect us, us in Christ, Christ, that those of us who have lost hope because of our sins may realize that Christ, our leader, walks with us and carries the cross with us. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect us in Christ, that those who are weakened by sickness or infirmity may be assured of God's comfort through the care and support of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect us in Christ, that the dead who follow Jesus in this life may enter God's presence forever in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect us in Christ. In silence, let us pray for our intentions and for our prayers of those who are asking our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect us in Christ. Father in heaven, in our desire to follow in the footsteps of your Son, make us one in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth, sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make it holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chadis, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chadis to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chadis of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed Apostle, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Therese of the Child Jesus, St. Francis and Claire of Assisi, St. Pio of Pietrelcina, Blessed Jose Maria de Manila, San Lorenzo Ruiz, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, Advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Onesto our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs>
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. <laughs> 